Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel which is the build 22006-3.1255. This is the latest build for the beta channel as I've said. And in this video we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this small build for the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, don't forget that in the article below in the video's description, you have more information about how the beta channel works and why there are two different builds, one with the new features rolling out and one with the new features off by default. In this newest beta channel build, we only have one change and improvement and that is the new notepad with tabs that is now releasing to the beta channel. Until now, this was only available on the dev channel, but now we have it on the beta channel. This should be rolling out to all insiders. So if you somehow don't have it on the beta channel, just make sure that you open up the Microsoft Store, go into the library section and then click on get updates to be updated with the latest Windows Web Experience Pack and of course also the new Notepad app. And basically for those of you who don't know how this works, well basically works the same as in the File Explorer. You have the tab experience with the add a tab and close a tab and if you right click on it, you have the options new tab, close tab, close other tabs, close tab, tabs to the right and if you click on the settings button, you have a new option which says opening files, choose where your files are opened. You have the option to open files on a new tab or on a new window. And I think on a new tab is the preferred way because you don't have extra windows opened on your operating system. Now, if you type something, that certain tab will get the first line or the first few letters on the tab title. And that is really, really nice in my opinion. As I've said, that is the only change in improvement. And now let's talk about some fixes in this build regarding the task or and system tray. Microsoft fixed an issue where start would open behind the task taskbar when entering it while using the touch keyboard and they also fixed an issue where the taskbar would disappear when switching from task view to a win32 app icon through the tablet optimized taskbar. Regarding the task manager, we also have other improvements. The process names type into the search box should no longer unexpected get spell check. They fixed a couple of issues with how narrator was reading out content in task manager. They fixed an issue where the drop downs and settings might not match your currently selected theme. When using search on the app history page, results should no longer suddenly disappear. And now if you open the default start page drop down in settings, clicking the task manager window should make the drop down disappear. Now I think that works pretty well, but I found a little bug. So if you click on this drop down and then you move the window, it's kind of bugging a bit, but I'm sure that Microsoft will <laughs> fix this pretty soon. So this is the better channel build for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. And of course, don't forget to check out the article below for more information regarding this build. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.